Do you know how to make an Italian meringue? Yep, I do. So I'm going to make a sugar syrup, bring it to, I believe, 121. Keep going, yeah. Slowly start whipping egg whites and then uh, slowly add the sugar. Oh, very good. She, she knows what she's doing. Marcus, two chefs waiting to do your skills test. Yep. Obviously, it's sweet. What are you going to get them to do? I'd like our chefs to make us a strawberry dessert and I want them to serve it with Italian meringue and a strawberry ripple cream. This is really going to showcase what they're about. Can they do pastry? Yep. How long are you going to give them? 20 minutes. Go on, chef. The ripple cream, you need to get that on first. We all know what a ripple ice cream looks like. That's pretty much the same effect we're looking for. What I want them to do is to make a very strong strawberry jam, which they're going to have to put through the whipped cream. So I don't want them just to put a puree in because it's too watery. I want to see the ripple. And we're just going to bring that up to a fast boil and then let that reduce. Ripple cream, they've got to make sure that it's going to hold. Yeah. Uh, we can see the lovely colours of the strawberry through that. It's thickening now, and I'm just going to put that into a bowl of ice. But we do need it to be nice and cold before it goes into the double cream. Mmm, smells beautiful. Italian meringue. Oh, yeah. What is it, Greg? An Italian meringue, you put the egg whites into a mixing bowl and then you pour hot sugar on the top and it cooks it. That's right, right? Temperature of the sugar? 121. Very close. <laughs> 120. Oh! I'll give you that one. They cannot afford to take their eye off that sugar for the meringue, can they? No. Coming up to 114. Almost there. So, meringue's just starting to come up. Cook sugar. And just gently just pour that in. Do you have to drip feed the sugar in? Can't you pour it all in at once? If you pour it all in at once, you've got the possibility that you just cook the egg white straight away. So it'll just scramble. Ah. This has to show the calibre of a chef who's been in the pastry section and understand, you know, how hot that syrup is. Just whisk it away until it cools down, basically. So just leave the machine on there. Now I'm going to move on to the cream for the ripple. I'm going to use one third clotted cream and two thirds double. And I'm putting the clotted cream in because I want that body for it to hold the jam. Some vanilla pods. Just a little bit of sugar. And then just gently bring it up so it starts to thicken. Right, the ripple, Greg. You can now start to see the consistency of the strawberry jam. It's thickened up considerably and it's a lovely texture. I've no idea how you make the ripples. I'm really looking forward to this. Once the jam has been added into the cream, you can't start to whisk it. The whole point of it is you're making a ripple. You're not making a strawberry cream. So lightly fold. OK, brilliant. Fantastic recipe, that is. I've just cut up some of the strawberries and I'm going to be doing two different types. One I'm going to cook and I'm going to use honey, Szechuan pepper, balsamic vinegar, and some fresh mint. They can do this however they like. It's entirely up to them. Marcus, I think this is where they can have a lot yeah. of fun if they can just relax into this. I mean, you're giving them the opportunity to create something here. Yeah. You've got a lot of different ingredients on there. You've got some alcohol, vinegars, flavors, even a couple of spices as well. Just drop the strawberries in. So I want them to be soft, but infused with the flavors but I don't want them to turn to a puree. So that's them done. My second type of strawberries are a marinade in vanilla, elderflower, gin. Mm. Oh, it's getting summery, isn't it? So I'm just going to take some mint and basil. This is just going to infuse into the flavour. That's my, my two strawberries. One's cooked, one's raw. Now we're going to dress our plate. How do you know when your Italian meringue is right? When it won't come out of the bowl when you turn it upside down. <laughs> are you making little kisses? Little domes that are going to be torched. Low torch. Cream. Oh, yeah. Strawberries and cream. Is there a finer marriage of ingredients? I do like it. strawberries and cream. Mm. 
And there you have it, my strawberry dessert with a strawberry ripple cream and Italian meringue. Fantastic work. Almost a magic garden of strawberry delights, that is. Look at it. Wonderful. Working in Italian meringue, the understanding of the textures of a ripple sounds easy, but it's a great test for our chefs to showcase what they can do in the pastry. Monica, you're going to watch the chefs attempt the challenge from the other room, and we'll see you back here for a very strawberry-flavoured nibble, I should imagine. <laughs> Hello, Elena. Hi. Welcome to Master Chef. Everybody starts with the skills test. This one was set by none other than Marcus Waring. I would like you to make us a strawberry dessert served with Italian meringue mm -hmm. and a strawberry ripple cream. 20 minutes, off you go. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know how to make an Italian meringue? Yep, I do. So I'm going to make a sugar syrup, bring it to, I believe, 121. Keep going, yeah. Slowly start whipping egg whites and then uh, slowly add the sugar. Oh, very good. She, she knows what she's doing. Happy with dessert? S sort of, not my strongest. Pastry stresses me out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I find that pastry, you have your timings have to be on point. Pressure. Yeah. Why are you a chef, chef? My granddad always used to cook. He owned a bed and breakfast. We'd make a cake or I'd be offering to make pasta and stuff like that. Have you got brothers and sisters? Did they learn to cook with your granddad? Yeah, I have a twin sister and two brothers. My sister owns a cake company. Your twin sister's a pastry chef? Yeah. We both go hand in hand. I'm more savoury. She's trained to be a professional pastry chef. How much would you want your sister here right now? A lot. <laughs> Chef, you're halfway. Italian meringue is looking good. That's good. She's left it to continue whipping so it can cool down. How's the meringue? Good. Good. You've got six and a half minutes. What have you got in there? Just added some ice and sugar, and I'm going to add some orange liqueur. Marcus had two different flavours of strawberries, but it's good to see she's focusing on one. She's given it a lot of care. I'm, I'm fine with that. Right, you have four minutes left. Yeah. Have you thought about the ripple in your cream? How are you going to do that? I'm just going to fold some strawberry puree just for it. If she folds the strawberry coolie through it, that could actually just let out the whole cream. It might just blend in and make it a pink cream. <laughs> Meringue's done. Right, do you need to start getting this dessert on the plate? Mm. She's got the ripple, but it's very soft. This ripple's not going to hold by the looks of it. You've got a few last seconds, so anything else has got to go on has got to go on right now. Yeah. Are you done? Yep, finished. You're out of time. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Some nice little points there. I love your approach to the Italian meringue. You got the temperature, you got the whole process just right. The ripple cream, strawberry puree you needed to turn into a jam. And then to get the best ripple effect, you've got that thick jam running through a thick whipped cream. And the clotted cream is there just to hold it just a little bit more. But it's not a bad attempt. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Your meringue is really, really light, well made. I love the little bit of basil on the strawberry. The strawberry's got that real extreme sweetness of the balsamic. But also, I can pick up the little bit of warmth of the orange liqueur. Yeah, there's a subtlety about that. Italian meringue's lovely. It's light. You've got the syrup in at the right time, so it hasn't dropped. Really good job, considering that you haven't done pastry for a while. So it's just a shame of that cream. Mm -hmm. I thought if you'd got that cream right, this would have been a brilliant start. Not bad. Eleanor, thank you very much. <laughs>